What is up guys, BMC coming at you with a new video today. We're gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna go through a deconstruction of a beat that I just made and we're gonna try and make a song to it. I'll show you guys how I came up with this beat and uh, hopefully you guys can learn some stuff along the way. And without further ado guys, let's get into it. If you haven't already guys, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content. If you guys wanna see anything in particular, leave it in the comment sections and I will be sure to cover it in another video. Now we're just gonna go layer by layer real quick. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how I came up with all this. So the key of the song is an E minor. It's 109 BPM. I went for something a little bit slower. So the sound that I used is in this Kryptonite Omnisphere Bank and it's called, uh, it's a bell, it's called Played. I'm gonna show you guys what that sounds like. After I got those chords, I bounced it into audio. I um, put it inside of the playlist, double clicked it. I right clicked on this waveform, edit in auto edit. Blah. What? Edit it inside of the audio editor. So what I did is I right clicked this button right here and I changed the sample rate to 2000. And then I hit resample except I'm not gonna do it because I already did it. And what I ended up with, with was the sound right here. Now, after I got that, I went into Arcade by Output, one of my favorite plugins right now. And what I did was I went into this kit called Give and Take, and I picked a couple samples that I liked. That's this right here. So once I got that sample, I did the same thing. I consolidated it into um, a waveform, and then I double clicked on it. I right clicked on this wave, edit in audio editor, and then I lowered the sample rate again. So now it sounds like this. And that's pretty much all I did for the melodic components of this beat. It's very, uh, it's a very simple beat. I wanted to leave a lot of room for the artist. All right, so once I got the melody and the, uh, the sample, <clears throat> what I did is I added the 808, but the 808 that I used was very simple. It was just three notes here. And I'm gonna show you guys what it sounds like with the sample together. Very simple again. So after the 808, what I did was I added this snare, a very ambient snare just to give a, uh, just to set a vibe, set a tone for the beat. Once I got that, I layered it with a snare. And then I added this open hat here. So after the open hat, I added these uh, hi-hats here. I'll show you guys what it sounds like. And then the last thing I added was a kick just to give it more of a punch when the 808 drops. And also closer to the end of the beat, just for a switch up, 
I used the exact same samples, but I didn't drop the sample on these ones, so they sound a little bit different than the rest of the song. I'll show you guys what they sound like. As far as effects, all I did was basic EQing, a little bit of reverb. Um, I used isotope vinyl, I'll show you guys where right now, but I, for the most part, I didn't use that many effects. The sample itself on the main loop, I did do a couple of things, I'll show you guys right now. So on the main loop, what I did was I added this isotope vinyl and I changed the year down to uh, 1970. And what that does is it cuts out a little bit of the lows. It thins it out, makes it sound a bit more like a sample. I'll show you guys what this knob does when you exaggerate it. So after I did that, I added a chorus, which gave it more of a stereo field. And after that, I just added a little bit of EQ, guys. I cut out the lows at about 230. I boosted the mid, the mid highs right here at about 13, 1300, just a little bit. So with the arcade sample, all I did was I added a parametric EQ. I cut out a bit of the lows at about 150, and I left it as it is. I liked how it sounded. And then I got my tag, added a bit of reverb on it. And that's about it, guys. Okay, that is it for the beat. Now I'm gonna bounce this out to a wave. We're gonna open up a new project. I'm gonna load up a vocal chain and we're gonna start making a song. Let's get it. Okay, guys, I got the song loaded in a new project. I set the tempo to 109. It's very important you set your tempo right away because of uh, delay and pre-delay and stuff like that. If you guys don't set the tempo right away and you start recording, when you change the tempo later, it's gonna start stretching uh, your, uh, your recordings and it's not something you want and it becomes a bit of a mess. This is what it's gonna sound like. Yeah, yeah. A few moments later. She told me that she need me She said she never leave me I'll tell you how I'm feeling But you just won't believe me I don't wanna be alone Said she don't want this no more I wanna call you on my phone but baby, why you trippin' for? But now we going separate ways It's so hard to be in love I can't even see the trust She said that she had enough She grabbed the things she's packing up 